Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. It's a beautiful day here today in the beginning of September. It's only going to be a high of 68 degrees. It's nice low humidity and I was able to put on my overalls today. So I was really happy about that. But anyhow, I had a subscriber ask me what vegetables am I growing for the winter? And so today I thought I would uh, talk about that and take you for a little tour and show you what I grew here in my garden. So thanks for joining me today. Well, the one thing to remember is that most vegetables that you grow in the springtime, you can also grow in the fall. You know, you can grow carrots, your, your kale, uh, you know, your broccoli, your cabbage, your cauliflower, mustard greens, you know, all kinds of vegetables. And you can also, like I said, do them also in the fall. This year I decided to keep it pretty simple. I ended up growing broccoli and some curly leaf kale. I grow my broccoli in the springtime and also in the in the fall. I have a fall harvest. Uh, I also of course have my butternut squash growing out there and I have some Kushaw squash that I'll be harvesting this winter. I, I, I love growing uh, winter squashes to store over the winter. I'm going to have you know many pounds of sweet potatoes that hopefully I'll be harvesting in the video maybe next month but I have some uh, curly leaf kale. I have about 50 plants growing under one of my uh, low tunnel hoop houses that I cover with a spun bonded polyester. And then I have uh, right behind me here, I have some of my uh, gypsy broccoli variety. Gypsy matures early, like 58 days. And you know, broccoli, you know, they, anything with a root or fruit, they like a, a good full sun, you know, six to eight hours. I always say the more, the better. You know, your leafy greens can get away with more like four to six hours of sunlight. So you really want to, you know, be mindful of, you know, how much sunlight your plants get when you're planting them in certain parts of your garden. But anyhow, uh, the uh, broccoli plants have been doing really well. I planted them in, in like the second week of August and, as well as the kale. And uh, maybe as the season gets colder, I'm going to be putting some four mil clear polyethylene plastic also over my uh, low tunnel hoop house is just to protect the, the kale throughout the winter because my wife and I we really uh, enjoy using the kale we, we use them in our green smoothies that we make every day so anyhow why don't we uh, take a walk and uh, I'll show you underneath my row cover how this uh, these uh, broccoli plants are just growing very beautiful here especially with all this nice sunshine that we're having here in Pennsylvania zone 6 so follow me along So right here in front of me is where I have my low tunnel hoop house with my broccoli underneath it. And uh, why don't I take this row cover off and then we'll uh, take a look at the broccoli a little bit closer. Well now that we have the row cover off, let's take a closer look at these beautiful plants. How you doing, Bailey? So these 
broccoli plants, they just thrive underneath this row cover. You know, they, the row cover protects the, uh, these plants from that cabbage butterfly. You know, that whitish, yellowish butterfly you see flying around your garden. In fact, when I just took this cover off, I saw one flying around, but anyhow, they lay eggs underneath the, the leaves and they develop into worms, of course, and then just really do a lot of damage to your plants. And so I always encourage gardeners to, to take a little preventive measures in the beginning of your garden season. Spend a little bit of time, a little bit of money, and uh, install these low tunnel hoop houses. I've done some videos on how to install these. They're, this is the half inch rigid conduit and you could also do them in a half inch PVC conduit which is a lot more friendlier to install but uh, they just thrive in this environment. Uh, you know keeps the deer off the plants here for me also and keeps the small critters like squirrels and, and all off out of the garden. Even the groundhogs it protects uh, my plants from the groundhogs, the occasional groundhog that I get here in my garden. And so I have my other area over there where I planted my curly leaf kale. Like I said, I planted about 50 of those plants. And uh, yeah, we just love our kale. We also have that. We use also steam our kale and uh, also make add that to our salads during the, the winter. But I love growing uh, my kale in the winter because it uh, it's just nice having the, the kale being hard, cold hardy. It, you can harvest it right through the winter. And uh, you know, these broccoli plants, I just love my broccoli here too. It's one of my favorite vegetables from the garden. I actually did a, a video on how you can cook this in your pressure cooker. That's uh, something really easy to do. But uh, anyhow, why don't we head over to my other area where I have my curly leaf kale growing. So thanks for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. I'm just loving this weather here in Pennsylvania. We're having, it's a uh, we've had a lot of rain this summer, and it's really been a, a cool summer. A summer I can, I can hardly remember having a summer this nice. And there, all the rain I've hardly had to water in my garden all summer. But anyhow, that low tunnel hoop house is, is uh, right behind me, along the edge of my one raised bed. So follow me along. And so I'm growing my kale in three different areas. I have like 12 plants here. On, in my four foot by eight foot raised bed and then I have my other low tunnel hoop house right behind me and I'm also growing some in my lean-to greenhouse but again they're just doing really well here they're protected from some of the heavy rains you know of course the rain can go right through these and the air can pass right through these low tunnel hoop house which is nice I when I water these in the middle of the summer uh, I just use my hose and you can hose and water right through them which makes it nice and convenient but uh, I also grow these in my composted leaf mulch that I amend with topsoil and then I also add alfalfa pellets in the early in the season and then a couple times throughout the season I also make a compost tea out of the uh, sometimes out of the uh, alfalfa pellets and uh, it's a good liquid fertilizer but anyhow let me take the cover off of this uh, low tunnel hoop house and let's just see how well they're growing underneath this uh, cover So let's take a closer look. Good morning, Billy. How are you doing today, buddy? He's a good boy. So anyhow, these are the beautiful curly leaf kale plants that are growing here in the garden. Well, I hope this video was able to give you some ideas on what to plant for the fall in your area. But we just love our broccoli here in the garden and also our curly leaf kale. Something really easy to grow in the garden. And if you have any questions or comments about this video, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And you can also visit us at plantsmartliving.com. And there you can learn more about gardening 
and also how you can reclaim your health by adopting a whole food, plant-based, vegan lifestyle. Well, anyhow, I just want to thank you for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden, and I hope you have a wonderful day today. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.